Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this absolutely beautiful 1967 Citroen DS21 Palace that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. And I will be waxing lyrical about this. It is beautiful. Anyway, hope you like it. Okay, so have a look around this absolutely beautiful 1967 Citroen DS21 Palace, four-speed manual, um, finished in metallic grey with a black roof, full Palace specification, including uh, full leather. Um, it's just, once in a while, a car comes along that just ticks every single box, and this one ticks every single box for me. It's beautiful. Um, I drove it, uh, I just realised I haven't shut the bonnet properly on this side. That's it. Um, I drove it uh, about 80 miles back from um, back from the Cotswolds yesterday. Absolutely gorgeous. Just um, they float along on a sort of on the air suspension. Fabulous car, um, and it really does get looks. It's beautiful in every respect. Let's take a slow walk round it. Being a '67 car, it's one of the very early um, swivelling light models with the different front end. Um, but it's also got the um, Generation 2 wave dash in it, so it kind of hits that sweet spot, especially being a manual as well um, for, for DSs. I mean, I'm sure the, the um, hydraulic or semi-automatic gearbox is good, but it's a bit complicated if you ask me. Um, at least being a manual, you haven't got to worry about that. Uh, but it has got, as I say, the, um, the wave dash, which is a work of art in itself and the, uh, the nicer front end, in my opinion. But yeah, um, just an absolutely gorgeous car all round. We'll try and pick out if there are any blemishes. There's one or two tiny bits here and there. We've got a little bit of, a couple of blisters just here, just underneath this light unit. But the paint overall is really very good. Obviously the, um, the bumpers and everything are stainless steel rather than chrome. So you haven't got to worry too much about those. No, paintwork is excellent. Looking down the near side, she looks fantastic down there. Can't really see a lot in there. It's obviously got the proper Palace stainless steel wheel trims as well. Screen is all nice, no delamination. Passenger door is lovely. The interior is fantastic on this one. So all the door cards are in excellent shape. Carpets are really nice. The headlining looks like it's pretty new and it's not sagging towards the back or anything. Uh, the dash I'm told by the last owner has recently been restored. So as I say, absolute work of art. Um, the leather is a little bit dry. Perhaps a good feed would, uh, would help. And there are a couple of tiny splits in the front passenger seat, which we'll come back to in a minute on the other side. But she is gorgeous inside as well. Again, door card in excellent shape. In the back there, she's lovely. It's got um, three seat belts in the back as well. Inertia reel for the outside and a lap belt for the center. So this one's a full five seater. Near side rear wing, super. The only other blemish I can find on it really is a little bit of paint loss just there on the very inside of the offside rear wing. Uh, and there's a slight dent in the rear bumper, just there. I am being really picky here. Looking down the offside again, panel fits are all good. This is just, I, I absolutely adore this car, I really do. Just beautiful in every way. and it drives as well as it looks. 
and offside door. Just a couple of water spats that we didn't get moved earlier on. And yeah, we've got in the front passenger seat, we've got a split there and another one just starting just over here. In fact, a couple just there on the front passenger seat base, but uh, that's about it. I think the leather has had some repairs over the years. This section looks like it's been repaired, as does that one there. But um, and it smells nice as well, it really does. Lovely um, period radio that's been converted to uh, um, USB and FM and everything like that there. And saying that dash is like a jukebox. So yeah, there we have it. It's it's a cracking machine. It really is in every respect. I absolutely love it. Hope you do too.